in just two to three years, we could see 20%, 30%, maybe even 40% unemployment in entire sectors. Peter Diamandis recently reported on this, and here's the thing that's keeping AI leaders awake at night. When these jobs disappear, they're not disappearing gradually, they're vanishing overnight. Mo Gada, former C-level executive at Google, is really concerned about our future. And if the people that helped build the AI are scared, maybe we should be paying attention. Let me break down what's actually happening right now. 11% of the workforce works in office and admin jobs, AI can do most of these today, 6% work in business and finance. GPT-5 is specifically targeting these roles. 7% are in management. Guess what manages better than humans? AI systems, 9% work in sales. AI agents are already closing deals 24-7. That's 33% of all jobs with a high probability of automation in the next three to five years. In this video, I'll tell you what the experts aren't telling you. Hey there, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first, most comprehensive educational and implementation solution for work professionals and organization. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage. Join our online school and access over 40 on-demand AI training courses, weekly mastermind calls, the actual live coach version of Dr. McCoy, trained on Julia's best wisdom, and more at first, movers.ai. Slash labs. In my mind, jobs will be lost. When they are lost, they're going to be lost massively. Far more people are in denial or doing nothing than are overreacting. I do think governments are woefully underprepared. Now it comes down to, are we going to design a world that is good for people or not? Everyone I've talked to has said, this technological change looks different. It looks faster. It looks harder to adapt to. It's broader. The pace of progress keeps catching people off guard. When the experts say this technological change looks different, it's faster, it's harder to adapt to, it's broader, they're not exaggerating. We're not just talking about one industry being disrupted over a decade. We're talking about video editors being replaced by AI that creates Hollywood quality content for $17, graphic designers automated away by systems that work faster than humanly possible, truck drivers replaced by self-driving vehicles already on Texas highways, even programmers, the people building AI, being replaced by AI that codes better than they do. And unlike previous technological revolutions that took decades, this one is happening in months. Here's what I found most concerning in the research. Far more people are in denial than are preparing. Most workers think this won't affect them. Most companies aren't planning for this. Most governments, they're completely unprepared, but the AI systems don't care about our readiness. They're improving on a schedule that goes beyond Moore's law, not human adaptation timelines. When GPT-5 launches this July, we're expecting PhD level AI that can outperform humans in most cognitive tasks, not some tasks, most tasks. And here's the brutal economic truth. AI gives companies a 99% cost reduction on many jobs. If you're a CEO and you can replace a $50,000 salary with $500 worth of AI compute, what do you think happens? That's not evil capitalism. That's just capitalism. The system is designed to maximize profits and AI is the ultimate profit maximization tool. This means job losses won't be gradual. When companies switch to AI, they'll do it fast and at scale. This isn't hitting everyone equally. Some regions have the infrastructure to adapt. Others don't. In the US, we might see entrepreneurship explosion. 36% of Gen Z already considers themselves entrepreneurs. But in Europe, with rigid labor laws, in countries without that entrepreneurial culture, we could see massive social unrest. The Middle East is positioning itself as the AI infrastructure hub of the world with trillion dollar investments. China is building its own AI ecosystem after being cut off from US chips. But where does that leave everyone else? Here's what gives me hope. The only job that survives long term is entrepreneur, not because other work disappears, but because the tools to create value are being democratized. 
sized. With AI, a single person can now build what used to take teams of hundreds. Example, one person can create Hollywood quality films, one person can build software that serves millions, and one person can manage global supply chains. But, and this is crucial, you need to start now. This window to be a first mover won't last forever. There's a term going viral in Silicon Valley, the singularity sprint. It's the anxious all out rush to launch bold projects right now, driven by the fear that rapidly advancing AI will soon make human leverage obsolete. Look at the pattern. Steve Jobs and Bill Gates were 21 when the PC exploded. Mark Zuckerberg dropped out to start Facebook. The Teal Fellowship has a 5% billionaire rate because they pay kids to drop out of college. The message is clear. If you're going to make it big, you need to move now. We're designing the future right now. This isn't happening to us. We're choosing what happens. The question isn't whether AI will transform work. The question is, will we design a world that's good for people? Some possibilities. Universal basic income funded by AI productivity gains. Four-day work weeks as AI handles routine tasks. Massive wealth redistribution as AI companies become incredibly valuable. And new forms of human work we can't even imagine yet. But these outcomes aren't automatic. They require intentional choices. So here's what you need to do. If you're employed, start building skills in AI collaboration and creative problem solving. The humans who survive are the ones who augment AI, not compete with it. If you're entrepreneurial, this is your moment. The tools have never been more powerful or accessible. If you're in government or leadership, we need experimentation with UBI, with new work models, with wealth distribution, and we need it now. The train is leaving the station. The question is, are you going to be on it? I believe we're on the edge of either the most abundant period in human history or the most disruptive. Which future we get depends on the choices we make in the next two to three years. This isn't science fiction. This is happening right now, faster than even the experts predicted. If you want to stay ahead of these changes, instead of being blindsided by them, hit that subscribe button because this conversation is just getting started. And remember, in this exponential age, the future belongs to those who adapt first. If you want actionable help building your future in the world of artificial intelligence, I'd love to invite you to join my online school, the AI R&D Labs, inside we're not just teaching theories. We're sharing the exact systems my team is implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own at First Movers. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs. Don't just adapt to the future, help build it. The age of AI abundance is here. Make sure you're on the winning side. See you down the next rabbit hole.